What's for dinner? Uh, like a Parmesan coated chicken, a breast baked with um, with uh, carrots, roasted carrots, uh, couscous with uh, green onion, garlic. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a hello fresh meal. Wish I could say it was all my, you know, my recipe, but no. Okay, HelloFresh is expensive as hell until you actually do the math. So, when it comes down to how much food waste that we have when we are going out and buying shit versus just getting three or four meals a week, it's actually less food waste. You waste food. Okay, if you're going to tell me that you actually buy your own groceries and mom and pop don't, and you have zero food waste... I'm gonna say you're a liar. But ass loads of plastic waste? Uh, no. No, no, no. It's less waste, infinitely less waste. If you go out and you're using 10 bags, grocery bags, and you're buying all these things that are covered in plastic, you're gonna tell me that, that getting shipped a cardboard box? In every, all the produce is out of a bag. In a, in a, in a paper bag. You're gonna tell me that that, that's more waste? You're out of your gourds. I, you're talking about waste. It's, we're talking about, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't, hold on. We're not talking about cost cut because they can ship in bulk, you know? We're just talking about at the end of the day, what you're throwing away for plastic. Yes, I know, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> what you're saying is they ship it to the, to the store. A lot of the things that people buy in the store are either covered in plastic, wrapped in plastic, or whatever, using waste for individual things. And now I understand that there is a smaller amount of waste generally, than if you go and buy the groceries yourself. But you're going to end up wasting all of that food because you have to buy in like a larger quantity. So like if you get a box and in that box, there are three things. And in those, in those paper bags, there are things that are individually and, and they buy it in bulk too. Like, so with your logic, they definitely buy it in bulk. What's in the box? A, a, a thing to cool it, a piece of plastic. Other than that one piece of plastic, what is there? Versus if you go out and buy $100 worth of groceries with 10 grocery bags that are pure plastic, everything you buy is then covered in plastic. No, maybe I just misunderstood someone, but... Um, yeah, I mean, that's probably, that's, that's good. Bringing your own bag is good. Even though we don't do it all the time, I actually canceled it for a little bit. I, I'm willing to say even if you bring your own bags, you're still contributing to more waste because you're you're purchasing things that are just covered in plastic. The the amount, if you were to take what you can what you're buying, like three meals. Let's say you buy three or four meals. I think you will have four times the waste in plastic than you will with if you were to just do HelloFresh. I understand that. It's not an ad. Yep. Oh, I'm starting to feel cornered. Ad. Oh, it's how much you getting paid. Ad. So let's say generally, I'm just saying you're wrong about the plastic, uh, the packaging. All right, I'll look into it because I'm what I'm not wrong about is the amount of plastic that you get shipped to you versus the amount of plastic you're going to have if you buy the same amount of meals. I'm not wrong about that. You are going to have more plastic waste. That is that is a fact. I will, however, look into it because there are other factors. Right? And that's probably what you're... That's probably what you're talking to. Because there... You're, no. I, I am sure... I am 100% sure about myself. Because that is a fact. However, what... A Kutsukari or whatever might be right about is how much they waste before it gets to your house. And that I will look up. That's fine. But he is not right about uh, once it's at your house and what you're uh, wasting afterwards. That is 
a fact wrong. On average, can you can you just go out and buy produce from the store and and carry it to your car without a bag? Sure, yeah, you can do that. But generally, you're not going to. Yeah, just carry out potatoes and onions, and yeah, you could. But generally, you're gonna buy something else. You're gonna buy your hot pockets. You're gonna buy what else? Do you guys buy? I'm trying to think what I buy when I go to the store. Bread, plastic. Um, yeah, paper bags. Yeah, that's plastic. But people are arguing that they bring their own their own bags, which 99% of people in here don't. But uh, one important thing to note as well is what I'm saying is also a little bit silly because it's not on the consumer to try to be more environmentally friendly. It's on the um, on the uh, the manufacturer in these corporations. If everyone were to be better about plastic use and shit, it would have such a small dent compared to if if these corporations just uh, took some profit loss. Like it, the dent would just it'd be nothing compared to their one percent. So that's a real problem. I want to make that one hundred percent clear. Recycling is good, and I encourage it to everyone. I think it's a good practice. But at the end of the day you're not going to out recycle you recycle your entire life and a corporation has already produced more waste in in an hour than you can save in your entire life it's sad i hate going to a store i don't buy individually packaged well i have and i feel bad about it i'm a, i'm i'm lying if i say i haven't i try to avoid individually packaged like fruits and veggies that shit is so stupid. Oh, here. We unpeeled the banana for you. Or here, we unpeeled the, um, the, uh, the orange for you. What do you mean? And you put it in a plastic container? Them motherfuckers have a container. Why are you taking it out of its container and putting it in a plastic one? That shit just is so annoying to see. The fuck? Yeah, it's a thing. Sounds like oats is harming the environment. Uh, no. Like I said, I try to avoid that shit the best I could. Yeah, it just blows my mind. Okay, I've never seen an unpeeled banana. What I meant to say was unpeeled orange. I would not buy an unpeeled banana. Yeah, because it costs them only like a fraction of a penny to make that thing of plastic, but then they can charge an extra dollar. Thank you. God bless America. Thank you so much for 500. Okay, Chad, I don't want to see that. That's sad. Okay, let me let me click on this. Sorry. Okay, why would you do this? Why would you take the banana out? The fuck? We're we're fucked. When you start taking bananas out of their peels and putting it in a plastic container, that's when it's just game over for all of us. We're all doomed. It's less appealing. Are you kidding me? That is way less appealing. I feel like my banana's been violated. You think that's more appealing? Oh, it's a joke. It's a pun joke. Shut the, okay, Aaron, shut up. This is this is the run. <laughs> Once I said appeal, I was like, okay. GG's for me. The end is nigh for me as well. But anyways. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah, I know. I caught on right away. I get baited and then I, I, I get tunnel visioned with the bait. But anyways, I save money if I use HelloFresh. You want to know why? Because it's cheaper if I just buy like $20 to $50 worth of groceries twice a month and then get the, the four meals than it is if I just buy a bunch of food because sometimes I'm a little tired and I don't, I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying groceries are expensive lately. I feel like if I go to the store and I normally am purchasing things for like 150 bucks, it's like 220. I feel like it, it hurts. And sometimes if you're not completely, if you are not completely prepping all your meals to, to where you like know exactly what you're going to be doing, you are going to just be wasting food. And if anyone's like me, which I'm sure a lot of you are, 
you think you're gonna make something one day and the next day you're like uh i don't want to make it what i mean by food waste is that thing of broccoli that head of broccoli sits for four days too long and then it's rot it's rotted that's what i mean i don't mean like if there's food on my plate i throw in the trash most people including myself you buy stuff oh i'm gonna make stir fry this week and then you forget about it. Then by the time you're like, oh, stir fry is in the fridge. I need to make that, but not today. I'm tired today. And then the next day it's gone. I'm gonna try to get like an insanely awesome garden going next year. We just don't get a lot of sun. So I'm gonna try to like trim up some shit. So some more sun. Well, with the, with the HelloFresh meals, you're basically making easily already prepped, ready to go meals. Like, it, this sounds like an ad. <laughs> Everything's already like ready to go and it, nothing takes longer than like 45 minutes. Yeah, anyways, uh, we're done. No, it's not an ad, I'm not getting paid. They should pay me though. Actually, until they pay me, fuck HelloFresh. That's what I thought, but when I did the math, we were actually saving money going through that. I will say though, you can definitely, if you're eating on a budget, which I have done a lot, like on not a lot of money. Beans, rice, um, canned vegetables or frozen veggies, which are awesome and fresher, by the way. And um, bulk chicken. I would eat a lot of that. Hey, I used to live on great value Pop-Tarts and leftover Domino's pizza when I'd have sales, all right? So... I'd use my tips from um, when I was working at a coffee shop and then I'd have like a couple pieces of pizza, pop tart, and that would be like in the fridge for three, four days. Okay, you can't tell me that those pop tarts are the same. You ever had great value pop tarts versus actual pop tarts? I don't know how to describe it. It's like you're eating lint, the great value ones. They're so fucking dry. No, they are not identical. I will fight anyone in here that says they're identical. They are completely different. It is chalk versus an actual Pop-Tart. They are not the same. I, I don't wanna get baited. I'm not gonna get baited.